what, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Um, it's Monday morning and uh, I'm just about to go to work, just come out and check the fish. And uh, yeah, I've lost my, um, my, my big female RTG. I've had this fish for years and years and uh, yeah, I don't know what happened. I got absolutely stressed out in the net the other day when I moved it and um, it's, it lost a lot of its style coat and, uh, and I come out this morning and um, this is how, how she is so I need to obviously get her out of the tank now um, I'm going to literally get her out of the tank literally now and then I'll come back after work and finish the rest of the video but yeah pretty upset for most of you guys I've had this fish a while um, and uh, it's just a risk you're taking when you're moving your big fish like this. I tried everything I, I did. She's been here three days now. I've been doing a 20% water change every day. Um, been adding, adding Metaflix. Uh, I've just I've tried everything and come down this morning. She's like this, so needs to get her out of the water because obviously it's going to mess up the water for the other fish. But it's all part of the hobby, you know. And uh, just uh, moving big fish can really stress them out. So I don't know, I don't know what else, well I can't do anything else now, she's gone. So I need to get her out. Maybe I don't know, bury her somewhere or something, take her somewhere tonight. But yeah, I'll finish the rest of the video tonight because I'm in a bit of a state and I, I can't really talk right now. So I'll finish it later. Okay, everyone, I've just got in from work. Um, had a pretty crappy day, from what we are. Um, I'm still a bit uh, shook up about what happened. Uh, the fish is obviously. Um, I don't really know what to say. I'm still a bit lost for words. So, yeah, I've lost my biggest Asian arowana, the one I first bought all them years ago. It's the first one I ever bought. So, I really attached this fish. Um, I feel a little bit better this morning. I was in a bad way. I didn't even want to go to work. I had a. Yeah, I just went to work in the end, I got, got the job done and uh, yeah, just got home. But um, yeah, still pretty upset and uh, yeah, I don't really know what else to say about it guys, but I've got the fish outside in a bag um, because obviously I didn't want to leave him obviously in the tank because it would mess up the water for the other fish. You've got to think about them as well and um, I didn't want to put it in the fish room because obviously it would smell. It's, it's strange how quickly things start to smell so fast because I kept the fish around the side there today and it's really starting to smell already so we really need to get this sorted out tonight so I'm going up to my parents now I'm going to go and get myself a fork and um, yeah I'm going to go and bury it basically I'm not going to bury it in my garden because I've got dogs and they uh, they will probably end up digging it up and then it will just be even worse so um, it's hard to explain how I feel right now guys um, obviously I've lost dogs in the past and that is absolutely heartbreaking you know losing dogs as well um, but losing fish as well is it's not on that kind of level but it is kind of at the level if that makes sense it's a big pet you care for these fish you, care, you look after them you uh you treat them as good as you can basically and you give them the best home you can you know and you get attached to these fish and when one of them dies especially the size of that fish and how long I've had it it really affects you and it makes you feel like basically selling everything you've got in here you know I've, I've, I was at work earlier thinking do you know what I'm done with it I'm going to sell everything I'm just going to sell the whole lot and uh, basically just get rid of it all because it's not worth the stress but then you think You've got all these other fish you need to care for and look after, you know, and um, you can't be selfish like that. I've just made a, huge, a massive mistake, you know, and it was my mistake because I'm looking after the fish. I moved it from that tank to this tank and it, it obviously hurt itself. It hurt itself in the net. It hurt itself in the box. A lot of the slime coat had gone. Um, I noticed a couple of nights ago, I sort of touched it just to see how it was because it was sort of gasping for air at the top here. And uh, yeah, it just basically damaged itself. So it was completely my fault. That's why I feel so bad as well. Um, 
the other fish was picking on on him a bit, but only for like half an hour or so, and then I noticed they calmed down, so I wasn't too worried about it. And I thought, oh great, touch wood, we're gonna be fine here. But it must have damaged itself in that box and in that net. It stressed itself out so much, and with it being such a big fish, it just passed away last night. It was doing okay last night, it was sitting at the top, it was swimming about, and I thought, right, we're out the woods now, you know, we're gonna be absolutely fine. I did a 20% water change yesterday and I did a 20% water change the day before. So it lasted basically two days in this tank behind me. Um, there's nothing I could do, it's happened now. There's no point moaning and crying about it. I had a bit of a moment this morning on the camera. I wanted to show you that, that was before work and with it being a Monday morning as well, it makes it even worse, doesn't it? Because obviously you've got a week ahead of you. But yeah, let's, um, I'm gonna put it in a bag now, put it in a box. Um, like I said, go and get a spade and a fork from my mum and dad's house. But yeah, let's go and get this done because it's looming over me and I need to get it out of my head. So let's go and do it. So I just got to my parents' house. Um, it's pretty windy, so if it's buffing about in the wind, I'm sorry. But they've got a, um, well, basically a plot of land at the front here, which we can sort of, sort of bury him, well, her in. I'm going to do it over here somewhere. So it's out of the way of anything, but... At least it's quite a nice place to bury her, you know, it's just in the woods. And um, yeah, it's not by a road or anything like that, which is good. But my brother's just going to get me a, a spade and fork now, and then, yeah, we can get her buried and then get it put to bed. So we've buried it now, it's underneath here. We've stamped all the mud back on it and put all this stuff on top. And another little thing we're gonna do as well, we're gonna get a, a little tree or something, maybe an acer tree or something, and then um, plant it around here to sort of remind you of the fish, you know, so. So everyone, that's um, that's the arowana buried, all done, put to bed. So yeah, I just need to uh, basically pick myself up now and um, yeah, get over it. I'm still pretty, um, uh, pretty shook up about it, especially when I first put him in the hole and you feel like he's going to be in that dirty, horrible hole, you know, but obviously he's not there anymore. It's, it's just a, it's just a body, isn't it? But, um, yeah, um, I don't know what else to say, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I know it's a bit of a depressing video, but I wanted to share it with you guys. I didn't want to, my, my channel's not only about all the good things, it's about everything happens to me, you know, in fish keeping and I don't want other people to make the same mistakes as me. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Like and subscribe to my channel. The notification bell and keep it real, everyone.